Hey guys, even here, so Indie Pro prejudging is a wrap, so we can take a look at what happened here. Top 3 was rather surprising, or who actually didn't end up in the top 3. Uh, by the way, that intro that was Pro Shoe, so check those shoes out, really, really great bodybuilding shoes. Anyways, Indie Pro, Blessing of Audible was the talk of the year. Everybody was talking about him, how he's gonna win New York Pro, beat Nick Walker and the other guys, how he's gonna win Indie Pro easily. Uh, just to warm up for his uh, real show like New York Pro and no, that's not gonna happen he's barely even cracking top 4 right here so it's between him and Morgan Aist or Morgan Asti he, I'm not sure who's gonna be 4th here so, winner is obviously gonna be the guy in the middle Justin Luis Rodriguez and we all pretty much knew this from the start as far as the second and the third spot I honestly didn't know about these two guys Dorian Haywood and Mohamed El Emam so these two guys are gonna be top 3, it's pretty obvious Honestly, I don't think Blessing is even close to cracking the top 3 In my opinion, second spot is gonna be Mohamed Elamam and third is gonna be Dorian Haywood And as far as the fourth, it's gonna be between Blessing and Morgan Aist, I'm not sure But Justin is obviously a winner of the show, so he brought a good level of conditioning And I'm sure he's gonna be sharper than New York Pro, but can he win the New York Pro? I don't think I can see him beating this. This is Nick Walker right now, who is absolutely carved out of stone. Like, he's absolutely peeled, shredded, and humongous. Really full, really large, like, this is insane. This is really crazy right here. I definitely do have Nick winning the New York Pro, but let's get back to the topic, Indie Pro. So, once again, Blessing of Oribu, not even top 3. Why is that? I don't think it's just the leg size, I mean, yeah, his legs are a little bit downsized compared to his upper body, but overall, I mean, look at these three guys, a look at the size of their legs, and the fullness in their arms and chest, and like the muscle maturity, the density, the size overall, they are just much freakier, fuller, bigger, blessing, he's a little bit stringy compared to them, he's not on that level yet, maybe he will be, one day, not now, no. He doesn't have that fullness, that roundness, that thickness. He needs to work on that over time. So he's not ready yet. I mean, he was just basically talking the talk. And I just have to make this a little bit more fun for you guys, because Ian Valier just posted his story. He says, well, this definitely shows talk is cheap, huh? We all know what this means. He was in all that beef with Blessing, saying that he's not that good of a bodybuilder that he claims, that he's just uh, outspoken too much, that he's just an Instagram celebrity, and that he's just talking the talk. And now that Blessing didn't even win New York Pro, he is saying that the talk is cheap. So, yeah, he's, he's trying to get under Blessing's skin a day out, I mean, at the day of the show before the finals. So that's not very nice, but it is what it is. I mean, you tell me what you think about this. I mean, he has the point, kind of, I have to admit. But it's not very nice for him to do this. But I guess they, they, these guys took it a little bit too personally <laughs> this time around. It is what it is. This is on his story anyways, but let's get back to the show. All right, so I have to admit that Blessing did bring that classic lines into bodybuilding this night. So he does have the shape. He does have the nice structure. He does have the muscle bellies and his stomach, like, he has pretty good set of abs and a good vacuum. Nothing too crazy, nothing too aesthetic, but aesthetic still. And, yeah, if you compare the fullness and the size, the density, he's too flat. I mean, I think he just came really flat. Maybe he's gonna come fuller than New York Pro, look better, but still, I mean, this is his real competition. Morgan Ace, that's the level of, of, of a bodybuilder blessing really is. As far as the New York Pro, he's gonna be probably, like, top 10. I mean... If, if he's not even top 3 at the Indie Pro, and New York Pro is like a much larger show, if he's lucky, if he if the problem right here is not being able to fill up completely, if he fills up and looks much fuller, much thicker, much denser, he is gonna be in the top 5, top 6 at best. I don't see him doing any better, because he simply doesn't have enough muscle on his frame, he doesn't have that roundness, that level of, of, of thickness, of, of density, you know what I'm talking about, you can see it, you understand what I'm saying, so he doesn't really have it, for that reason, I don't think he's gonna do very well this year, and I think he needs a lot more work to get done, I think he's about 30 right now, so he's not exactly young, but he's not definitely old, so he still has time, 
But Justin Rodriguez, he brought it. I mean, he brought a good level of conditioning and he is big. And he looks pretty much the same as he looked last year. And these two guys, they really surprised me. I didn't even expect them to look like this. But uh, look at Morgan Ace and his glutes. Jeez, what the hell is going on right there? I, I don't think I ever saw these shredded glutes, really. I mean, he's really, really peeled. I mean, those glutes are absolutely shredded. But his structure, especially from the front, not very good. Not very good. He's very tall, but he doesn't have that bodybuilding look that judges are looking for. So he's going to be fourth or fifth, which is amazing, actually, for him. Indie Pro, fourth or fifth. That, that will be his best result. So, once again, first call out Indie Pro, top 5, Mohamed Delamam, Justin Rodriguez, Blessing of Oribu, Morgan East, and Dorian Haywood. So, Justin for the win, most likely. These two guys uh, next to him are second and third, and as far as the fourth and fifth, it's going to be between Blessing and Morgan East. Quite surprising, I have to admit, but it is what it is. You tell me what do you think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye bye. Yo, some guys over there, Brown. Thanks for the shoes. I love them. Can't wait to wear them. Yeah, buddy.